Listen, these are truly troubling times that we're going through. I know this. But we have to remember that no weapons formed against us will be. Every few months you conjure up some baseless, life-altering emergency. You notice that? Hmm? Last January, when you thought you had testicular cancer, you had the whole office taking up collections on your anticipated medical expenses, you couldn't stop going on about how you're gonna be Randy Wenball. I felt a bump. Yeah, that was a pimple. Yeah, thanks for checking that out for me. Yeah, that really was an eye on my bucket list. My buddy and I, we took him to the hospital, and of course, no one would believe the story that we had to tell him. So after a few days, Matteo was released from the hospital. Then a few weeks later, I hear on the news that Matteo was arrested for stealing blood from the Red Cross blood. Well, you've barely spoken to a single person since you moved here, and then you go and throw yourself into what is quite possibly the most vulnerable position you could have. Now, impulsive behavior like this can easily be deciphered, and if you know where to look, you can determine what it is your subconscious mind is trying to communicate. But the intimate nature of your actions clearly demonstrates a deep desire for contact.